Just got a tip, there's no debate. I know a gent that'll set you straight. It's Vinny Vela time. Good fella who's got what it takes. A New Yorker to make no mistake. It's Vinny Vela time. Tell you who's better than you. Elizabeth Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotime. Who's better than you? Oh, thank you so much. Not only do we have a great audience today, we have another great show. We do. We had a nice one last week. Oh, we had a fabulous Charles one. Charles Dutton and um, Frank Lisi. Frank Lisi. Valerie Al Bauer. Uh, right. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, but Al Sapienza wasn't able to come. No, he wasn't. He was in Canada, and today we had the hell of a show. We do. And for those of you who don't know, this is Mariana. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Mariana, my host. Thank you. The best. Thank you. And uh, Mariana's been with me now. Um, a little over a year. A little over a year. And I changed the name of the show. It used to be the Vinnie Valley Show. Now it's, um, tell it like it is, the Vinnie and Mariana Show. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> uh, so, meantime, oh, we have another great show here tonight. Uh, whoop, let's see. Okay, sit down. Frank Lisi was on our show last week. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And these are and tonight, the people that we have on the panel mm -hmm. are some of the people that are going to be on that show. In that the we, in the film that we were talking on, about last the week. Film yes. That we were talking about last week, and that's called Dream Quest Entertainment. Presents. Mm -hmm. Oh, the name of it is uh, Veneration. Yes. A film by Frank Lisi, and then we have uh, Charles Dutton. Uh, Al Saprihenza, Valerie uh, Bauer. Bauer, right? And. But tonight. And, but tonight, <laughs> the ones that are here, the ones that you can see, are Stephen, uh, don't say it, Stanulus. There you go. You're just, okay. what, the fifth time we've met, but you know you put it on there. Hey, it yeah. takes him a little while. You gotta put you it got all it. Right. <laughs> he plays uh, Detective uh, Mark Dempsey. Yes. That's correct. Okay. That's then we got uh, Tisha Tim Timsman. Close. Tinsman. <laughs> Tinsman. With an N. Tinsman. 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 <laughs> it's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. Okay. Try to say it five times. And, and you play uh, Dream Angel. Yes. You have a dual role. Wow, a dual. that's so mm. nice. So then we got Jody Lickby. I mean. <laughs> Wow, me. well lip then. Lick me, lick me, it's all the same. Yeah. I'll lick you, you lick I'll me, take whatever. You. whatever. <laughs> she plays uh, Liz Lennox. Yes. yes okay. Is. And then my friend, Adi Pasqua. That's my boy over there. <laughs> you know? Adi Pasqua, he plays the Archbishop. That's right. Wow. Unbelievable. That one, that one, right? Unbelievable. This film has a star-studded cast. I'm sorry? Star-studded cast in this yeah, film. Look yeah. at Frank Lisi put is, some... He's he done an, an, incredible, an incredible job casting this movie. He did. You know? And uh, you're playing my wife. Yes, correct? Tinsman. Tisha Tinsman. <laughs> I'm having trouble remembering my own name. <laughs> I'm playing my wife to tease me. Do you know oh. this is going to be the fourth project we've worked on together? Is You're it, kidding. So get my name right on the fifth, okay? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Fourth one. Fourth. Don't hold your breath. Um, <laughs> we've worked on one or two? We've worked on two. This is the third. Oh, yeah. wow. Look yeah. at this. Mm -hmm. all, all of Frank Lisi's two. movies together. Oh, wow. Quest Entertainment. And I know Artie Pascal and I, how many? Few, few yeah, a also? few, yes, a few fun times. Yeah, a few many? fun <laughs> times. <laughs> Ten? Few, no, 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 a few times, yes, a few times. That's always that fun times. It's always fun. Jersey to dress up like a clown. Yeah. <laughs> we we yeah. wouldn't get into that. 
And How about uh, you and Steve? No? Actually, would this, be the this will be our first project. Our first I, project. I, I'm no yeah. stranger to the Vinnie Vellas yeah. show. <laughs> but as but this is our first time actually collaborating together, together, collaborating on the project. So yes. now, um, all right, so if I'm playing the, uh, I'm playing the mayor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I'm doing two films right now. You know? Yeah. So it's hard enough for me to read one. <laughs> one know? script. And uh, but when you have to read two. That means it's time to get high again. No more joke. <laughs> that means I'm ready for my cough medicine with the codeine. That helps helped out a little bit. And Steve, uh, let's see. I don't think we have any scenes together. Uh, actually, as I'm leaving, uh, you're coming in. So we just, we, we uh, nod at each other. Each other. We, we, okay. just right. We're two just passing. strangers passing in the night, Ben. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable. Well, can we kind of go down the line as far as how you all found out about this project, or did you all get contacted personally by Frank? Any auditions? How did all this come about? Sure. So. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Frank and I have been friends for a long time. Okay. Uh, we actually did a short together many years ago, which I... Coincidentally enough. Sicilian Tale, is that the no, one? No, 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 it was called Because of You. Okay. I, I play a police officer that has a gambling problem, and I, my daughter's sick. I end up killing myself at the end. Whoa. So she could get benefits. It's a comedy. No, no, no I'm joking. <laughs> but, but actually, we, I, we got Frank involved, and Frank was oh, amazing. Oh, wow, okay. And then we, we've just been in touch, and then uh, he had reached out to me um, about two or three weeks ago um, and asked me if I'd be interested. Mm. And you know, I, he had me at hello with the script, and... Uh, it was, a, it was a pleasure to come aboard. I'm really honored, and you know, the cast is amazing, and here we are. It's, it's, I'm ready to go. I get to, get to work with Vin. I get mm -hmm. to work with Frank again for the second time. Um, and my character is Detective Mark Dempsey, and uh, I was a police officer. Right. So, you know, it, and I was in narcotics and through the whole thing. That's why you better watch the code, Dean. And, um, <laughs> don't say too much don't in, front, say too of much in front of Steve. <laughs> But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it was a natural fit, and I, I'm, I'm honored to be part of this project. Wonderful. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let me just, let me just straight this out if it's code date. I don't want anybody to think I'm a junkie. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going I'm to search you. Uh, I'm searching that, uh, you before we... Uh, that cough medicine with the code D, <clears throat> because I have a cough. A chronic cough. Sort of like a chronic cough. <laughs> and when I do, I'm supposed to take a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. I take about a tablespoon and a half. That's all right, that's all right. And then I'm a big guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> you need a stronger dose. So when I take the tablespoon and a half, I get so whacked out, I forget I have a cough. Yeah, well, you know? well, there you go. But At least works. you're not coughing. Yeah, I'm not exactly. coughing. Exactly. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> Don't Which remind me, otherwise yeah. I stop <laughs> <laughs> The throat's not tickling me. Yeah. Tell me now. Tell me, tell me some of the things. Now, how you got involved. Say? How she got involved in the project. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I've done several projects already with Frank. I met Frank through a friend, Sonny Velozzi, who told me about Frank's projects, and I worked on. No, the are you my wife in this? No, meet Mario. Oh. Meet I Mario. meet Mario. You know, she I. She looks young to be I, your wife. I, I, that coding is starting. He's doing good for himself. Yeah, she looks really, <laughs> really. Good. I forgot. I'm saying, yeah, but you're also in. Meet Mario. The, 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 you're in and the generation. Generation. Yes. Oh, I see. And meet Mario. You play my wife. Younger wife. Yes. Yeah, you're doing, you really did well for yourself. Yeah, this you time. did. Huh? You notice really? I keep stressing younger wife? Tell her, baby. Look skin at me. Cream. I'm going to show you how young I am. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Meet Mario. Okay. And uh, now in this one, Dream Angel. Dream Angel. Can you, can you, you tell us a little Angel. bit about well, it? I cannot tell you a lot because okay. I don't want to give it away. It's of course very not. Very juicy. But, oh. but it's a beautiful... A teaser. Um, Are you an angel in this? Or? An angel and maybe, I don't know, a demon. Uh, she's very sort of gothic looking in one scene and then very um, an angelic and gothic at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it should be very pretty scary I guess at the same time mm -hmm. it was a character that I developed because I do photography as well and one oh. day I posted on Facebook this character and Frank said T can we use her and I said yes so he said if I can't get you can someone else do it and I'm like no so, <laughs> this so is I'm my happy to, I, yeah I'm happy to yeah. do it I have all the wardrobe and everything ready to go because I also do hair and makeup mm -hmm. it's amazing how Frank gets to write all these movies here I am I'm doing that play Mm -hmm. I'm doing a play. It was supposed to be a half-hour sitcom for TV. Then I found out for me to do that for TV, it's going to cost anywhere from twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars. And As I said, Wait a second. We're, now we're going to make it into a play. You know, a lot wow, cheaper. Yeah. And uh, 
So I stopped at like 33 pages. And that's enough for the half hour sitcom, but to do a play, it's gotta be about 65 pages. I can't even, I can't think of anything else to say. And Frank, you? <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah, right? We'll go out to lunch. <laughs> we'll finish. Don't worry, baby, get me drunk. We'll talk. No. Uh, no. But no, I will, I will get back to it. But Yeah, uh, but that shows how talented Frank Lee Z is to come up with all these right, ideas right. and to be well, able to develop I, them. Since yeah. I stopped writing, I mean, just so many things, which I won't get into, but Mariana knows, just so many things have happened to me. You know, like a death in the family and um, just one, one thing after another. And that kind of like threw me right off. It interrupts. I'm sorry? It interrupts your imagination. Yeah, I don't do it ever. <clears throat> so now, uh, every time I think something has come to an end, like the dust has settled, something else happens. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm on the phone with Mariana all the time. And my wife says, what is it with you and her? No, oh. She doesn't say that. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't say that. <laughs> Uh, um, oh boy. No, she does, she does not. Um, but anyway, that, that's. Now, let's get to Jody. Jody. Now, yes. Jody. Uh, Liz again, Lennox. Liz yeah, Lennox. That's Liz, her character. I'm playing, Liz Lennox. I'm playing Valerie's adopted. Valerie Bauer's adoptive mother. She's playing Donna, okay. the lead. And also Kelly Lennox's mother. Real mother. Mm hmm. And the last time I seen you was at a play. The last time you saw me in the Joyce Carol Oates play, yes. What was the name of that play? It's called I Stand Before You Naked. Say what? I Stand Before You Naked. She's not asking you. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, was the, the title that was the name of the play. That was the name of the play. Oh, but that, yes, but yeah. yeah, Frank and I have been friends forever. We met through our agent, Barry Colker, uh. and uh, he's a brilliant writer. Um, this script is the m most amazing of the three amazing scripts that he handed me and mm -hmm. I said oh my god I I'm blown away by this incredible piece of art and uh, I laughed I cried uh, I, I, and it must be so inspiring was, for an actor really to get material like, like this that you can just dive into and just explore yeah which is so incredibly yeah. juicy and I would die to play any part in this play, oh, in wow. this movie, and uh, yeah. So um, I'd say we <coughs> we need funding, we need mm -hmm. money. So everybody oh, out there. Oh, I like that play. That we went to well, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like the way she said it. Stay before me naked, because she wasn't naked. Uh, I was almost naked. Was I was in my naked. I was in my underwear at one part, but yeah. Okay, but. But anyway, back to the movie. Um, <laughs> so um, I was we need watching to wait. Money on the way. Yeah, what? Oh boy. Way. <laughs> well, that's a way to get money too. We maybe. do need to raise some we'll money. Raise some money, so maybe I'll take all my clothes off now. <laughs> uh oh. Give, give we're Dream we're Quest mo Entertainment some money. Uh, that was a wonderful play. I was sitting right yeah. next to Frank. You were. It. You walked in late and. You, and and I played to you immediately, and I picked on you immediately. And well, you when you were doing yeah. that play, yeah. I took off my pants because I wanted to be in my my underwear like you. I know. I'm not joking. <laughs> no, I, no. didn't do that. I didn't do that. Yeah. No. I'm trying to see that visual. No. Is that right? no. I must no. have do tried you really to imagine that to? visual no. of you half, uh, you half naked. Are you sure? It was a nice sight. He, he, he sight. wears a thong Body. with hearts on it, oh. so that but was really great. What? You were wonderful in that. Play. You you obviously you. left an impression on him. Thank you. It was it was it, it was amazing. It's amazing. I will be bringing it back at some point. Oh but, great! Yeah, so yeah. And Mr. We look forward to that. Yeah. Mr. Pasquale, now yes. how many gigs have you seen have we me done? naked? I'm sorry. <laughs> You've never seen me naked. I know that. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> now you were in Sopranos. So was I. Yeah. What other films? Bunch of stuff, but the Sopranos, you know, was a great experience. You know, terrific experience. Like, I got lucky, and uh, as you all know, the, you know, the, the, sh the show itself is considered to be maybe the best ever in television. So, yes, it is. Yeah. So it was terrific. You know, I got to work with some tremendous people. But with Frank, 
with Frank uh, Lisi. I met him a few years ago, got involved in a few of his projects. Mm. I uh, got to meet his whole crew from Philadelphia. Most of them are out of Philadelphia, Sonny Velozzi and those guys. Where did we be? I don't remember. I don't know. Probably in a restaurant someplace. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Probably in, uh, in Little, Little Italy, Italy someplace. somewhere. But anyway, we've done a couple of films together ourselves. Me and you, we've had a, we've had a good time when we do them also. Yeah, we did. I worked on one film, well, I just, well, with several, but this one film, the guy was a clown. What the hell was that? Something Ruby, Roland Ruby, I don't know. And something. Pasquale couldn't look at me with a straight face. Wait, Every time he looked at me, he kept <laughs> laughing. I figured, you know what? We're never going to get this done. And I just didn't want to look at him because every time I just <laughs> looked at him, he started cracking up. <laughs> yeah, don't get me started. It's pretty, it was pretty funny. But getting back to Frank yes. and <laughs> Dream Quest, um, what happened was I developed a relationship with him. And one thing I respect from Frank. And I, even these young fellows, I was talking to these two other, other fellows with uh, Meet Mario, mm -hmm. who have a terrific project as well. The enthusiasm that they bring to the table is what impresses me, you know, not just the writing, which is great. And I, I like to read scripts. I'm one of these people that likes to read them. Most people don't read them. But uh, the enthusiasm that they work with, and when you're working with them, you can see that they really are dedicated to their projects. And that's, that's impressive. And I think it's essential for something to become successful. You need to have that passion behind the work, or it's just not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Frank has that. You know, he brings that to the table and uh, he gets the best out of you, to say the least. You know, I know you're going to say he doesn't pay a hell of a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> but I think that's what attracts us to him, you know, and his project. It's the material. Yes, yeah, and the fact that well, they, they work so hard. Casting, casting he does. job is just great, you know. You got all great people in there. And, uh, oh, I forgot, that, that play that I said I was doing, uh, Mariana's in there, and she has a very big part in there, and she plays the housekeeper. Oh, wow. Uh, Does she wear this outfit or no? <laughs> Pretty close, sir. <laughs> we, Pretty haven't, close, we haven't discussed the wardrobe yet. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but Mariana plays the housekeeper, and um, I got to keep her with me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, wow, but anyway, uh, so the other one is, yeah, it's called meet Mario, so we're going to be doing that pretty soon, right? Yes, July. Right. We're, uh, you're also in that. And uh, Tisha, yeah. Did somebody say something? No, 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 it's someone outside. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'm starting to hear again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good thing. Uh, so pretty much, I mean, why you're all here is to for our viewers to know that you're all behind this project and you just need the supporters yes. to, to back you up and to be aware of this project that's coming up. Exactly. And you're and you're all shooting the starting to shoot the trailer next Saturday, I next. believe. Yeah, right. We're going to shoot the trailer actually in, in four days. Well, uh, this will probably Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I, I do a lot of my own projects. Um, I produce a lot as well. Mm -hmm. I mean. For this project not to have the money already is mind-boggling, mm -hmm. and I, 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 I don't even say I think. I know, mm. I know that once it's shot, that the money's going to come in. I mean, if, if I have to take it and bring it to each person that I know and say, look at this, there's no way this movie cannot be done and be shot next year and in the can by next June or July. No way. Mm. It, it's that good. Mm. And, uh, you know, the way Frank works, the way he directs, the way he writes, the cast, I mean, it's, yeah. it's really no brainer. I have no doubt. And again, I don't want to say. When you have a good cast, it's easy it's, to it's uh, easy. It's raise easy. the money. It's easy. And, and, and it's Sonny, easy. Sonny's yeah. he's unbelievable. I've worked with Sonny as well mm -hmm. on one of my, another project of mine. So, I mean, the synergy is there to make this thing mm -hmm. work. So, I have no doubt next year, next September's will be in theaters. Mm. So, you, everybody Frank, remember happen. this. Yeah. Yeah. So, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's so exciting to hear a cast that speaks so highly of the material, which you, I mean, everybody's always sure of what they're they're working on, but just for everybody to, you can see it in your eyes. Sure. So it's just, you sure. know that this is going to be something that's going to be very special. I mean, again, it's just, the, and I don't want to speak for everybody, but I mean, supernatural thrillers, I mean, they're no-brainers. Of if course. If it's done right, it's written right, I of mean. Of course. They're no-brainer. And again, again, yeah, this guy is the mayor. And this that's guy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the guy's the mayor, for you God's sakes, you know? Bad. So, well, I'll yeah. tell you, you know, I'm just happy that I'm not pl always playing that wise guy role. You know, like here I am playing, um, what am I playing again? 
Yeah, mayor. Which one? Mayor. What are we talking about here? Mayor. Mayor. The mayor. 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 Yes. <coughs> the mayor. Then I then wish I would like to see you with like Mayor Smith. Though. I would hate to. I hate that you have another Italian name. Another Italian name. Like, yeah. like Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Schwartz, Schwartz or something. Or O'Malley. Or O'Malley. Irish. O'Malley. 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 Irish, yeah. yeah. Uh, and a brogue. I'd like to see what a brogue. Oh, yeah. a brogue. Yeah. You know what? With an Irish brogue, Mayor O'Malley would be awesome Oh, too. boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's really thinking sense. outside the box. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the other one is, uh, what? Uh, and the other one I'm playing. Frank's like, no way. Italian father. Yes, I'm away from that wise guy. You know, sometimes I can't. Like, if you look... Barely at the promo, you know, I'm a bishop. And everybody said, Vinny, you look like a mafia priest. And you want to know something? When I shot that, we shot that out in California. It's called The Last Days of Limbo. So we were, uh, we had to go out. I didn't like the craft service that they had. So right across the street was like <laughs> a cafe. And I didn't want to get out of all that stuff. So I figured I'll wait, I'm going to wait for no cars to come by and make a dash across the street, and just as I was, and I'm dressed as, as a bishop, just as I started to go, all these cars, all these cars stop, and they're coming out of the car going like this, <laughs> and I'm, and me like, a, like I'm going like this to everybody, you know, I'm doing this to everybody, then a cop car comes around, <laughs> I swear to he says, um, I'm sorry, he says, uh, are you trying to get, I'm trying to get across the street, get a donut? You know? He goes, you look <laughs> very familiar, I, I said, well, these People think I'm the bishop. Says, I know you from somewhere. When I told him who I was, he was better keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Come on, I'll be across the street. That's funny. But if you know, but you know what I did? If you look at it real close, I had all my jewelry on. I forgot to take it off. <laughs> so I was, so I was a, bitch, a bishop <laughs> with a diamond <laughs> ring. It's no wonder where that money's going in the Catholic yeah. Church. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but but you know. Uh, but I, I enjoyed doing that, you know, and Joe Regano was also in that movie, too, that had passed away, and he also played a bishop, too, and uh, Joe Regano just recently passed away, mm. and um, and I miss him dearly. He was a close friend of mine, you know, mm. and he was the only, I was the only guy that he would allow to make fun, you know, not to make fun of, to imitate him. You do you a know. great imitation. I'm you're sorry. Well, he does. When you do your yeah, one night show, really you, you know, yeah. well, you don't fight the fool's wife. Your one night show, you do a great imitation. <coughs> you know, fight the fool's wife, you don't have to be good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I used to do to him? Sometimes he used to call me up and goes, Hello, Vinny. I'd say, Hello, Vinny. <coughs> I used to repeat everything he said, Vinny, Vinny. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> he goes, Talk to that going. It's fine. I'm going. <laughs> Let me call you back. Call you back. <laughs> So he called me back and said, I'm freaking echo on this phone. Okay. And uh, I even got his wife too one time. Uh, I called her up because she was on his way home. I said, hello, Marie. She goes, hi, Joe. I said, uh, I'm in the city with Vinnie Villa. I'm going to catch a bite. I'm going to have a drink. I'll be home later. What are you talking about? You got your grandchildren coming home. Yeah. Make up an excuse for me. Oh, boy. She goes, you would you, get him in trouble. She says, can't, no way. <laughs> she says, can't you see that moron some other time? You know, oh. <laughs> so I said, hello, Marie. She goes, hello. I said, Marie, it's me, Vinny. She goes, hold on. She was clicking the phone. Oh. Well, I don't know what just happened. I had Joe on the phone. I said, no, that was me. She goes, I don't appreciate that, you jerk. Don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> but what I didn't do that poor guy, I, between agents no. and everybody, but I miss him, you know. So I don't, and, and he was a survivor of throat cancer. Right. And he came back after 40 years. So I won't mm. talk about Joe no more. Let him rest in peace. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we don't have much more time again because they gave, he gave me the five fingers. <laughs> the five time. fingers. And, uh, but I just the want to thank five. Steve. Tisha, hold on, Jody, <laughs> and Pasquale, and my host, Mariana, <laughs> uh, for being here today, and such a great audience. And uh, I even have two German girls that came from Germany, and they met them in Little Italy. Look at and, that. What? Uh, nothing. And uh, they said they were going to come to the show tonight. Mm -hmm. Are they still here? Yes, they are. Oh, the front row. Right. In the front row. <laughs> so me and a friend of mine, we took a bet. And I said, 
they weren't going to come, and he said they were going to come. So he bet a dollar. So I owe him a dollar. They showed up. But anyway, and she said if I try to get her to come up here, she would run out of the studio. So I don't believe that. I'm get up here right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say thank you so much. And uh, I wish us all, you know, a lot of luck on this film. Yes. Because it's a great film. Yes. Veneration, right? Veneration. 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 Dream Quest Production. Dream Quest Veneration. Entertainment. Correct. Frank Lisi. And, Frank Lisi. Uh, and, and I, the information I, will be on the screen for all of I, yours to yes. research and look more and, into it. Um, if anybody has, uh, if anybody would like to get a, a hold of me for any reason, comments on the show, you can email me at vinnyvella, V-I-N-N-Y, V-E-L-L-A, oh, senior, S-R, at AOL.com. Sometimes I forget. You know, and if you email me, tell me whatever you want, and I'll get right back to you within a day or two. You do. You do All get right? back to every single email. I'm good at that. You? Get back yes. To it. it might take me a day or two, you know, especially if I don't take any cough medicine. <laughs> I get right back to you. You're <laughs> loyal to your viewers. <laughs> you definitely I, uh, are. But anyway, he gave me the five fingers before. I don't know if he gave me ten or five. But anyway, <laughs> uh, as long as it ain't one, right, Vin? What? As long as it ain't one. If it ain't that one. <laughs> That's, I thought one time he gave me one. So when he did, I gave the back to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's it sure What he was doing, you know? But I, uh, and second of all, like, like, like I said last week, I don't get paid for this show. But you want to know something? I'm doing it eight years. And it, it costs me to do these shows. And I come up there, back and forth, tapes, and about mailing envelopes. And I don't understand. I watch all these other guys on TV, they make a million. And it's costing me. Some zone with this conversation. Yeah, but look at the type of guests that you get on your show. Right. So, yeah. thank you, audience. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely night. Thank you. Elizabeth Street, Little Italy Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be It's Vinny, a friend of mine Stand-up guy from the Lower East Side Take it from me, he's one of a kind It's Vinny, Velotar